The hardest thing is not liking yourself. It's feeling like there's something wrong with you and that you will always be alone. Feeling like you're not understood and like you don't have the tools or keys to move forward is probably the hardest thing. It's difficult to feel like you want to live abundantly and like so many people around you are and you don't know how to make that happen for yourself or like you try and you try and you try and it's like this uphill battle like fighting upstream but it just seems like there's too much. I completely understand this feeling like so much more than you know and when this starts happening the doors continue to close and they close more often than they open and all of a sudden you start reaching these lower lower levels of depression i think if there's a problem with the world the problem is that we focus too much on problems and there is a really big thing that i just kind of like light bulbed in my head or like made an aff affiliation to in reflecting on my life as of lately which is just that if I'm not building something, I'm solving something. I think we're creative beings and we're intended to be problem solvers and to create on some level. And a lot of times if we're not building something or solving something, then we're chasing something, but we're chasing something to either build something or solve something, you know? So at the end of the day, the question that I had to ask myself is what is it that I'm currently doing right now? Am I building something or am I solving something? The biggest difference that I see in these semantics, and they're just semantics, so don't get too hung on the words, but the biggest thing that I see in the perception of how I define what looks like it's building in my life versus trying to solve something, is that when I'm building something, I'm creating something for a certain goal or for a certain vision that I have in my mind. And when I'm solving something, I'm looking at a problem and I'm saying something needs to be fixed before I can move forward. This is where I've noticed in my own personal life, I get stuck. I get so stuck when I look at my life, whether it's myself, my finances, my relationship, whatever it is that I'm looking at that I feel like is a problem, something that I don't want right now, something that needs to be fixed, something that needs to be better, something that needs to change or revolutionize, something that I'm resisting. I feel like I can't move forward until I solve the problem. And if we're always focused on the problem, what's wrong with my life, what's wrong with my spouse, what's wrong with the world, all we're gonna get is more problems. I like to relate this to if you popped your tire while you were out driving. You might stop for a second and say, hmm, why did my tire pop? Did I run over a nail? Did I not put enough air? Did I overfill the air? You want to know just because you want to learn from the mistake that you may have possibly made in order to potentially avoid that problem in the future. But once you decide that it was a nail or that you overfilled your tire um, or that you just simply don't know, the tires popped, the next thing you do is let's fix this. You know, let's figure out what we need to do. Do we need to get a tow truck? Do I need to put a spare on? Do I need to get a fix it flat? You start thinking about the solutions and you make your way to doing that but if you look at what most of us do in life we don't we sit here and we marinate over and over and over and over and over day in and day out on what the problem is and it's like we sit here and say oh my gosh I can't believe that this tire got flat I don't know why I blew up I don't know why I, I mean I just Every single time I come out here, the tire is deflated. And I don't, just don't know what to do anymore. It's like, should I get a new car? No, I can't afford that. Should I, should I get somebody else to pick me up? No, nobody's available. Like I just, uh, there's no solution to this problem and I just really wish it wasn't flat and I can't figure out why it got flat. Maybe I ran over a nail, but I don't see any nail, but I don't, you know, and it just goes on and on and on. We have this like, ugh you know, attitude about it in our lives. And it might not express itself outwardly, but how do you feel on the inside? Do you feel yourself going, oh, I just wish it was different right now? It can be, but we need to go into building mode. And I like the building mode because in my idea, it's not about looking at the problem and saying, oh, why did my tire get flat? I wish it wasn't flat. Like, I don't even know why it's flat. Why does it keep getting flat? It goes from having to solve something to building something, which is how can I feel secure in my car? How can I drive confidently and feel like I'm gonna be able to get from point A to point B the mass majority of the time? How can I trust that the tires on my car are good? And so it's a very small distinction 
The distinction really is what is it that you're choosing to focus on, the negative or the positive aspects of life. But I notice this manifests in my life in the sense that a lot of times I try to fix myself. Like I feel like I'm this broken person who's had a lot of struggle, a lot of hardships, and I gotta fix like everything to be this perfect person before I can truly accomplish everything that I want. A lot of people do this with money. They think that they have to make a ton of money and go out there and, and make a name for themselves, be successful, be somebody before they can live the life of their dreams. When the difference is, I don't really need to spend all this time fixing myself. Of course, there are things that we need to reflect on and improve and work on in our lives always. We're always growing. If you're not growing, you're dying, right? But at the same time, it's not like you have to sit here and figure it out right now. It's not gonna figure out right now. Like if you wanna figure out why you feel bad and depressed and like why you feel stuck in your house all day, get out of the house get out of the house and find something to be happy about build something to be happy about build a life a group of friends a hobby something that is going to make you feel like getting out of bed and doing something different and this is so relevant and if you reflect on your life and seen things change or if you look at other people's lives you realize the more that you sit here you can read as many books as you want you can look up as many things you can connect with people and search for all this information but once you have all the information and you get it, it's time to apply it. It's time to apply these principles. You're not going to ever figure anything out. And the truth is a lot of times when you figure out the whole concept, it's not really going to go the way that you expect. There's always going to be loopholes and diversions and changes and unexpected things that come up. We're talking about making changes in our lives, dramatic changes in our lives that are going to help increase our feelings of abundance and happiness, right? And removing the things that drag us down, removing the things that don't add value. Well, a lot of times our problem solving doesn't add value. We simply need to move forward and build. And I guess on a refined level, all I'm saying is to stop overthinking things and take action. Take one small step at a time because I can sit here and map out my whole journey 50,000 times, but until I take that first step, those of you who have just taken one step at a time are going to make it to the destination ahead of me, right? So that is my whole point of this video is just take the time to ask yourself, what it is that you want in your life. Not what you don't want, but what do you want in your life? What's that look like? What does that feel like? And then if you haven't yet, check out my New Year's resolution video. I'm gonna put it up there or in the link below and take some of those practical steps and exercises to really follow through with those things in your life that you wanna change. So that is my thought for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope that this was really helpful. It was just something that came up that I thought I wanted to share. I was like really passionate about it because I noticed that my life goes in that flux of ebb and flow, like trying to plan and solve versus just living life and doing it. No matter how small, no matter if I can't see the goal or destination, just as long as I'm doing all these little steps, it comes around full circle. And I hope that's something that you can really take with you today and that helps improve your life right away. So if you guys have any more questions or comments, leave them down in the comment box below. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat because I'm going to be answering a lot of your guys' comments there, the ones that I don't get to in the video. I wanna make sure that I really get those to you and I'm also able to talk them out to you, not just type them out to you. So it feels like we're just having this conversation. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.